mentioned the rivalry with Tito Ortiz. He initially didn't want to fight you because he believed that you were closer friends than what you thought. And you know, that was the story, wasn't he? Saying, I'm not going to fight you, he's my friend. Uh, that, was, that was a story he made up because he made that story up because when we trained together, I, I can tell you how we met and how I am. I came as a smart partner, basically. Um, but I beat him up and everything. Like, I'm, Styles made fights in wrestling, Styles made fights in everything. He, he couldn't beat me in a wrestling match. I was a, I, he's a style of wrestler that I love to wrestle. He tries to muscle you, no one's muscling me. Um, I beat him with that. I, he couldn't stay on top of me in Jiu Jitsu. Uh, we started, if I started on the bottom, he couldn't take me down. And it, it, as they started on the bottom, I get out five times, uh, I'm five times in five minutes, easy. No problem. Um, and he definitely couldn't strike me. I used to beat I drop, I drop with body shots all the time. Um, I, I was trying to be nice. I, I think I, I was helping get ready for Yuki Kondo. I came in, I was playing Southpaw. I'm good at mirroring other fighters. So I was fighting Southpaw, trying to beat him. And, and I, after, he was going to do six rounds with me. After the third round, he threw his head here and just quit. He just walked out. I, mean, I, 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 he, I, I just, he knew I would beat him. So he was all ready, I, knew, I, I told him, he was all ready to fight me. When I was fighting Vitor, I got the ring same so I kicked my ass after after Ken. But then I went out and fought Bob the room right before fighting Ken and I knocked him out. And all of a sudden he didn't, he wasn't uh, he wasn't interested in fighting anymore. Because it was such a it was an amazing drama and amazing storyline in, in the sport as well because you were both managed by Dana White for a period of time as well, and you were obviously very good friends with Dana White still to this day. Would you say that you had a decent relationship with Tito and then obviously the, the build-up to that fight, it sort of disintegrated, didn't Look, it? I, I had a decent relationship with him, but I, I didn't dislike him. I, I, and the thing was, like, but it, I, I, I really, I said back then, tell me one time you called me, not ask me for something like this. Tell me one time you invited me over, like, you always slept on my couch. I said, well, your couch is too cheap to give me a hotel room. Right? I mean, I, I, that was a favorite for you, not for me. Uh, somebody, well, my wife said, yeah, I was there, she ate food, I ate. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, when you came up and trained to my gym, we fed you and, and you stayed at my house too. So I wouldn't know what you're talking about. You know, I, I, it, it wasn't like, he tried to talk like he, he took me out the street, uh, taught me how to fight, and like, I turned on it. I mean, I, 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 really the way I met him, was he was going to fight Frank Shamrock. And he was rolling at a gym with my buddy uh, Scott Adams. Scott Adams topped, tapped him about 15 times with leg locks. Scott was a beast with leg locks. Made it. But, and so he, and he was going down to help Tito get, train him for leg locks. Tease him how to stay out of leg locks. He was fighting Frank. So he said, why don't I bring Chuck down? And he can spar with him. So that's when I started going to spar with him, training him. So when I trained with them, and then, and then when, they, when the teams bought the jam, they brought me up to, uh, they, joined, they dropped me up to uh, uh, Big Bear from Tito's camp for that first fight. And uh, I, I dropped him with a body shot. And they like, you know, like, uh, and, uh, and then Dana's yelling at me, get mad at me that I'm not hitting him in the body anymore. I'm like, he's not going to hit him in the body. I'll just drop him again. And then he gets mad, okay, I'll drop him again. And he goes back down. I mean, it was just, I mean, I, he did, and I'm, I mean, yeah, he just, he knew I, he, he, I didn't match up well me in any, any, any part of the sport. The first Ultimate Fight season I ever watched live was the season that you were meant to fight Tito Ortiz, so that was about season 11, and he pulled out, didn't he? And he was absolutely fuming. I, look, I knew he was going to pull out, and actually, they, they play it, I think episode 8, they played a thing about him talking about pulling out. He, that, was, that was filmed week one. They just aired it week eight. That was like really week one. He, he straight he, I told Dana, I told Dana what he did. I said, I don't know why you're doing this. You're not going to fight me. He said, well, he signed the fight contract. You have it. I said, well, you know me. I'm going to fight. We just have to agree on all the, all the deal, deal points. So you, you know me. I'm going to fight. He, he signed it because his signature's not worth anything. He, he his signature's not worth anything. He, he's still going to pull out. He's having, I knew he was going to pull out. He was just doing it. He wanted attention to be on the show. 